Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. So today's topic is going to be what's your knee jerk reaction? I thought that would be a fun thing to explore. It's amazing that concept has actually been in my mind for a few weeks now for a pick a card reading. I just never got around to doing it. And with the events of late, those of you who keep up with, and let's go there, why not? Celebrity gossip, you know, <laughs> the whole Oscars thing, the whole, you know, pow, that whole smack in the face thing. I thought, you know, let, let's, let's take a look at this topic of what's your knee jerk reaction. There are a lot of spiritual communities, but mainly I've seen in the self-development communities, the psychology communities, counseling communities, a lot of people are talking about it. And they're talking about all the different ways in which we can look at it and what does it mean and this and that. And aside from the fact that it's possibly all very staged, it is kind of interesting. And I have been wanting to take a look at the energy of attack just generally because Rahu has gone into Aries, okay, as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. And I've been thinking about this anyway. And one of the things I've been thinking about is the energy of attack and what is one's knee jerk reaction. Okay, what do you immediately do when you're attacked? And according to psychology and counseling and all these things, there are the four F's. So people respond with four F's. Okay, so what is that? So we could freeze, flight, fight, and the fourth one is fawn. And I had to look that one up and I actually had to study that one quite a bit recently myself because, yeah, I think that is one of mine, fawn. I think, you know, fawning is where you try to appease the person or, you know, you you try to make it all better or you try to soothe them or you you know you try to say the right thing or you know and that that's something i do sometimes i don't even know that i've been attacked because i just think oh i'm in you know coaching mode i'm in counseling mode i mean you know oh this person is just expressing themselves their true nature it's fine you know i am an open and safe space where people can express themselves etc cetera, etc cetera. but you know sometimes when we slow down and we don't do the knee-jerk thing of and a lot of us here you know who tune into picker cards and things like that a lot of you who are tuning into these you are light workers your counselors coaches people who do this kind of work so your knee-jerk might be yet yeah, how do i soothe the person how do i appease them uh, i i do that so i, I definitely do that and and sometimes to, to the point where i don't even recognize that I'm being attacked, <laughs> you know, because there's always an explanation. There's another thing. We are good, you know, people are tuning into stuff like this. We're good at justifying the the poor behavior of someone else. You know, we're great at that. We've got a whole bunch of psychological reasons as to, you know, well, they had a bad childhood, they had this, they had that. So we're excellent at justifying you know the behavior of other people as well so I, I know I can see that that one in myself as well um, do I do fight or flight yeah I, I'm sure I have done uh, flight yes I, I love to just go away <laughs> that's a good one for me freeze I, I think I, I've done a bit of that as well where I just don't know what to do you know um, and if we look at the event at the Oscars, you know, I believe it was Chris Rock who, the show goes on, you know, the cameras are rolling and uh, I guess I would put that under the category of fawn maybe, or, or you know, you, you just you just keep going kind of thing. And that, that might be something that he may need to take a bit of time to process later. So I thought we could look at this in a picker card. We can see what's your knee-jerk response. What are you most likely to do uh, if there's tension or, or something breaks out a fight or something you know something happens wow what an intro is quite long well that's the intro it doesn't matter if you've popped into your reading it's all, already it's perfectly fine I'll, I'll kind of explain while I'm shuffling anyway so 
feel free guys to choose from your group so to choose either group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading hi there group one if you chose group number one then you are in the right place let's shuffle and let's see what is your knee-jerk response so if you're in a situation something's going on what do you immediately do what's what's your response to the situation and I think what we'll do this time is we will draw all of the cards first okay we're gonna do four whoops I'm probably like knocking the camera about as well apologies about that <laughs> One from the Vedic Astrology deck. Ooh, these are so slippery, as you can see. <laughs> Very high quality. I'm going to experiment with different... Um, I feel like I want to make another one. I want to see what a different quality would be like as well. Experiment with the different types of paper that they do. Okay, one of these. I hope your week has been good wherever you are. Here in Sydney, Australia, it has been so rainy that I just cannot tell you this. It has been, yeah, this has been unusual. Quite a lot of, um, quite a lot of rain, which hasn't been good for some parts of the city, actually. I'm very fortunate that where I am, it's perfectly, you know, uh, we're all okay here. I'm quite lucky. This is the Bhagavad Gita deck, which I think is really great for this topic of, you know, knee-jerk response. We could see Arjuna's knee-jerk response was to sink into the chariot and sort of, could that be a bit of a flight response, a bit of a, no, 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 I don't want to do this, you know. Gosh, I'd be like that if I was in that situation. All right, I think we've got everything. Let's see what's going on. I'm very curious to find out. I don't know where we're going to begin. I think we'll begin. We'll begin with the larger cards here. So we'll see what this is. Okay, here and now. You're not in the past. You're not in the future. You are in the here and now. So I think when it comes to this topic of knee-jerk response to something, I think you're quite present, actually. And I could imagine that you are a very good person, actually, to have around in a crisis. If there's a crisis going on, we want you. And we want you because you're present. You are here and now. That's excellent. Okay, let's take a look and see what this is. Approaching Guru. Okay, yes, so now, is this Arjuna? I'm not sure. By the way, I am studying the Gita uh, with Ramdas. There's a, an online course at the moment. I think it's a, I don't know how long it is, but I've just joined and we're about to begin. It says here, just learn the truth. Approach a guru with humility. Inquire from them submissively and render service. The self-realized can impart transcendental knowledge, for they have seen reality. These are great cards, group number one. Yeah, I would like to have you in a, in a crisis. It feels like your knee-jerk response is quite, is grounded. You're in touch with the truth as well, according to this card here. So this is really great. We've also got a number five on this card and that's excellent as well because this is looking at change. Approach a guru with humility. Yeah, and you would do that. Okay, good. So far so good. Let's see what's in here. Aha, uh -huh. Rahu in the eighth house experiences physical problems, argumentative accidents, career discontinuity, gains big wealth, discovers secrets, lives abroad. I mean, these are just some of the things, you know, uh, that we can, we can see here. But one of the things 
that I'm getting just from the vibe of what's happening here. I get the feeling that, yeah, you're not afraid. You're definitely, of the four Fs, you're not a flight person. Your being is here. Your being is grounded. You are present. If anything, you, you know, you're... And this, this really can be the light worker. I always think the light worker is like a firefighter. The building is on fire and the firefighter runs into the building, okay? Everybody else is running out and the firefighter is going in, right? And that's one of the ways I see this, this situation, one of the analogies I have here. And, and I think this is very much who you are as, as a person. So when it comes to what is your knee-jerk response, you're the light worker, you're the one who goes in. If there's difficulty, and especially, yeah, if there's trauma, if there's difficulty, if there's, you know, some, some form of problem, you're definitely not running away. You're, you're going in and you're going in with a view to healing, with a view to solve things, with a view to help in some way, you know, with a noble heart and good intentions. This is great. Oh, fantastic. The sun. This is amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. You're the sun. And that's this fearless person. Courage is here. The sun, courage. You're not afraid. You will go in. You will bring light. You know, you'll bring the light of understanding. Okay, so this is all incredible. Gosh, what a run. This is That is superb. So in answer to that question, what is your knee-jerk response? Well, you're, you're the person... Uh, that we'd all like to have. Okay, let's have a look at here. Princess of Discs. So this would be the Page of Pentacles. Gosh, isn't that a beautiful dress? Wow. Manifestation. Lovely. And in your life at the moment, you know, perhaps, perhaps you're at the beginning of a journey of some kind regarding materializing some aspect of your dream or your life. Three of Cups, friendship, beautiful. We're on a winning streak here, such good vibes here. Three of Cups, friendship, this is a card of celebration, this is a card of coming together, this is a card of friendship, this is a card of good times. Everybody here, they're so happy to be together. Lovely. We got here Ten of Discs, Establishment. Wow. The winning streak continues, my goodness. Ten of Discs, Ten of Pentacles. This is, this is kind of, and I feel like this isn't so much an answer to the question. I feel like this is a little bit of the reading that's just acknowledging that your energy is fantastic right now, that you are on your path, keep going. You are establishing and manifesting your dream. You could be at the beginning of like a new layer of getting something. You're putting some layer of your path or dream into place right now. And it's going well. There's, there's some just lovely, lovely energy coming through here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well... You are on fire, group one. This is the Empress here. This is a number three as well. Beautiful number of creativity. Three numbers is really, really very wonderful. You've got two threes here. You've got a 10. It's kind of like a, a 10 can be a one, which is a new beginning. You've got five when it comes to change. And this, I feel like this line is very much answering the question of you want your knee-jerk response when there's a crisis or there's a difficult situation or a traumatic situation. You're, you're there. You're there to help, to bring light, to be of service. Uh, you know, great, great energy. And with the Empress here, the Empress to me is, is completing what feels like you're getting a sort of bonus reading. I kind of feel like this is just a little overview of what's happening for you on your path right now. And... It feels like things are steadily falling into place. Things might be taking time. 
the manifesting of your dream is taking time. This is a big dream. This is it's not an overnight job. It's it's but it's happening. And you deserve you deserve some time out and you deserve some time out. You deserve, you know, time to celebrate with friends. You deserve time to yourself, time to be creative. I love how this is I guess it looks like a lioness to me. I'm not sure. Let's have a. Hmm, I'm not sure. Kind of very, very white fur. But the way that this is depicted, I'm kind of getting that, yeah, you, you deserve some time to celebrate, to be with friends, to do something fun. And something where you indulge in your creativity. This Empress card, normally it's a, it's a lady, she's beautifully dressed and very fertile, you know, this is also a card of pregnancy and things like that. Um, but how I'm going to read this is you deserve some kind of treat or reward or some kind of time out where you indulge your creativity. Wow, this is amazing energy. I haven't drawn a spread like this in a really long time. This is great. So I think some of you out there, you are, you are in need of kind of like a major pat on the back, a major well done, you're doing amazing, keep going type of message here. Yeah, good. Okay, we'll take three. These are all David Hawkins, all of them. So let's see what he has to say. Big fan of David Hawkins. Okay. It says here, love is misunderstood to be an emotion. Actually, it is a state of awareness, a way of being in the world a way of seeing oneself and others. Yes. And I feel like you're in this state. If you feel like life is not like that around me, know, claim this reading. Know that it will be. Okay, you have attracted this reading. You've manifested this reading. You're still watching. So if you feel like life is not like that for me now, it will be. Okay, it can be this good, you know, claim it. This is you. This is you. And love, look at that. You are love, you know, and that's a very complete way of being. There's no lack here. Uh, gosh, there is no lack here. I'm kind of trying to look for it on the table and I can't, well, no, I, I can't particularly see it. This is a very good spread. Great. Okay, let's see. And the first quote that's come out is amazing too. The only way to enhance one's power in the world is by increasing one's integrity, understanding and capacity and capacity for compassion. Yes. Yeah. And I'm really drawn to thinking about this well definitely in the context of both the sun and this Rahu in the eighth Rahu in the eighth can be like hidden power and sun can be well this is very showy power isn't it it's like everyone sees the sun this is Leo the sun the sun the king the king on stage power Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of power here. There's also the Empress here as well. Amazing. And then if we look at, yeah, I mean, that's the Ten of Pentacles. That's the height of the Pentacles suit before we start getting into the, into the characters. So, and see, I think you know... You know this, you know this and you're living this. You're living both of these right now. Because that's the other thing about today's topic. It is quite a bit of a, 
an in the moment type of reading what's your knee jerk reaction it's like well how do you be you know in a world that's full of chaos well you're you're doing great from what i see here <laughs> it's amazing before when in the morning when i was thinking about this topic and i was thinking oh yes yeah, so we you know if 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 swords come out it means this and I, sometimes when I pre try to guess like beforehand I, I try to figure out what type of cards could come and what come it never goes that way <laughs> these readings always surprise me too because I had nothing like this in mind when I was thinking about the topic I didn't know this type of thing could come up how amazing you guys are on fire look at this we change the world not by what we say or do but as a consequence of what we have become i think you've become something really quite incredible group number one and you're living it you're doing it this reading is huge confirmation that all your efforts are starting to pay off and I'm going to wish you well. Group number one, let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. So we are going to be looking at... What is the topic? It's just gone out of my mind. <laughs> we are going to be looking at... Oh yeah, what's your knee-jerk reaction? So if something goes on, if there's a bit of chaos or craziness around you or something traumatic even, what, what, how do you respond? What is it that you do? How do you handle those moments of difficulty? We'll draw an extra one if we need to. In group one, I think an extra one just did automatically come out, but we'll, we'll see if, how we get on with with three there and if i need to draw another one i certainly will oh no <laughs> I'm like, mm, yes take okay, okay no <laughs> huh? hmm come on which card wants to that one okay you are a legend <laughs> you're very brave card <laughs> well done all right, let's see. Hang on. Let's move these around and we'll get one of these. Actually, we'll get Bhagavad Gita card. See what's going on in here. I actually need to sit with these and study these a bit. I do have a copy of the Gita. I am currently enrolled. Ooh, I am. Oh gosh, everything's falling. I'm currently enrolled in a Ramdas course at the moment uh, where he's lecturing and. He's sharing his, his interpretation of the Gita, which my mum had seen. Apparently that was like, that was online for free for ages, but then they took it down and now they've done it as an online course, which is perfectly fine um, and, and good on them because they need to keep their organization going. And it wasn't a very big fee to join, so I'd gladly join that. Okay, let's have one from here. All right, take that one. Okay, let's see what's going on in the Oracle card. So what is your knee-jerk response? If something's going on around you, how do you respond? What's your typical thing? Oh, TikTok. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. How beautiful. It's quite surreal. That's one of the things I like about this deck. Okay. So it's like time... And there's a kind of, it's like this uh, balloon is wanting to take you away. Number three there. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Determination. Gosh, look at that picture. How fantastic. Yes. I love this. Well, I mean... When it comes to the four F's, right? So the freeze, flight, fight, fawn. I mean, this looks like a bit of a fighter to me. And that's a good thing. Because sometimes 
we do need to fight. We do need to fight for what we believe in. And fighting doesn't... I know it's looking pretty gruesome here, <laughs> but, and, and I mean, but... Let's, let's read this. Because there is, there is a connection. I'm seeing straight away a connection with these two. Because life is short. And there's something about you being consciously aware of time, that time is ticking, and that it is important to fight for what you believe in. Time is limited here. You have to do something. This is quite Mars. This is There's Mars energy coming through in this group already. This can be Saturn here. This is time, a conscious awareness of time. This is Saturn. But this is Mars. This is, I have to do something. So there's quite a conscious awareness when it comes to the knee-jerk reaction that you have <clears throat> you have quite a conscious uh, awareness that I have I have to do something I can't just sit there and I, I you're not going to fly away because that's what I was wondering when I saw this earlier I was like hmm something taking you away or is this a is this a flight response but no you're sticking around and in fact you're going to fight for what you believe in it says here, those two attached to sense, enjoyment and material opulence are enchanted by the scriptural promises of such things. They can never find the resolute determination to perfect their spiritual life. Wow. Hmm. This is almost talking of a, like a little bit of fantasy almost like that you enjoy the the fantasy of spirituality and this can be a touch of like um virgo pisces axis there hmm okay let's keep going uh, i need more information uh, okay oh Aha, uh -huh, we've had this happen before. This one doesn't want to be seen. Okay, five. Oh, page of pentacles in reverse. Right. Oh, we've got some interesting things going on here. Okay, I'm going to park that for a moment. Saturn in the fourth house. Disciplined mother. Values home, lethargic, trouble with inheritance, solid education, excels in leadership, medicine, law, success in foreign lands. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what's in these. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Lovely. Independent enjoyment of wealth. Okay, we've got the six of wands. Beautiful. Again, this is this is really tying in with the determination card that we just had. Five of wands. Wow. Okay, so we've got some competition. Hang on, let's see if we can get that to focus. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Yeah. Five of wands, competition. So when we're looking at what is your knee-jerk response, I, I do see you as being the person who, you are a bit like group one. Group one was very present, very able to, you know, uh, the, 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 the firefighter who runs into the building that kind of thing i am getting that kind of vibe here not so much that there was a more of a healing vibe in group number one whereas for you guys it's not so much about healing i see this actually as the battlefield of um like even a corporate battlefield or competition when it comes to competition when it comes to competing, making money, career type stuff, you're the person we want. We want to 
like mm, send in to bat i'm thinking of cricket but this could also be baseball it's like it's like you send your star player in you know to you send you send your star player onto the battlefield kind of thing i do see that as you your knee-jerk response in a crisis or a difficult situation there's so much fire here okay you're also victorious so I am definitely seeing you as a bit of a you're yeah you're like a star player on a team and it's like we want to send you in kind of thing it could be yes yeah, sports or but corporate or something but there's something about you where and the, the other thing is that, yeah, so we've got one planet in Kendra position here and it's Saturn as well. So this is, there's some groundedness about you as well. You're not just like a nutter kind of <laughs> firecracker type person. You're, you're grounded as well. You're grounded, you're measured. You're not um, just, you know, impulsive or, or crazy. Yeah, this is Saturnian energy here too. So, and this thing in the reverse this page of pentacles being in the reverse and this being upright is also showing me that you are independently wealthy. You can't be bought. So, so if someone tries to poach you for their team or, you know, like get you to, yeah, in a career or something, get you to do the dirty work or some job that, uh, you know, wouldn't be a very good career move. I also get the sense that you're too honest and you're too, you can't be bought. That's what I'm getting from this page of pentacles in reverse. It's like they're trying to, the, you see, because if this is, I always read this deck as Saturn. And let's say this is, and yeah, in this context of what's your knee jerk response, this is quite interesting that we're going down this tangent. I didn't think this would turn up today. So this is, yeah, if someone's trying to get you to go into a job or do a job or you won't do it. You're, you're this, you're, you're independently wealthy. You're like, well, and I remember situations at work where I used to be asked to, oh, you know, would you write for the casino or something like that. I used to turn down those jobs. I'd be like, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I have some of this energy. I have had it in my life anyway. Um, but yeah, it's, I get the sense you can't be bought or you won't be, you're not going to be tempted to, to go down the wrong path kind of thing. There's kind of too much integrity here. You're independently wealthy. You'll make it on your own. You'd rather make it on your own. You're going to be victorious no matter what because I think you carry this vibe within you. Okay, now there we go. It's interesting. Of all the six of wands, yes, they're riding into town victorious. She's quite protective. And she's looking down as well. This is a very victorious card. This is a, I'm riding back into town, the winner. You thought I couldn't do it, but I've done it. And yet she's, she's looking down. She's being, but not in a sad way. She's protecting something. There's something you're protecting here. But I'm getting, yeah, when it comes to competition, if there's competition and you can think sixth house, you can think um, even athletics and things like that, or a career. I definitely saw a career straight away. Then in a career situation and, you've, and you're in a team, they're putting you forward. There's some talent you have. There's something that, you know, we want you. And your knee-jerk response I think is is the doing energy. I think you'll do it. I think you'll get the job done. Because you're conscious of time as well. You're not going to sit around. It's amazing energy here. Wow. This 
this has turned out to be a very interesting kind of a topic. Sometimes I do the topic and sometimes I just don't stick to it, but I'm trying to be very disciplined today. I'm trying to really keep the keep these grounded to the, to the topic. I've got some kind of interesting topics coming up. I've got them written in a journal, so hopefully I... Who knows, but then each week, you know, sometimes the energy changes and I do something different. All right, let's see what's here. Oh, this is great. I just realized that I don't have to have an opinion about everything. What a relief. How cool. Yes, it's very freeing. When you realize you don't, also you don't have to use the mind all the time. And this is something that meditation is very much encouraging in me to give my mind a break, let it rest. They say that ideas come to a rested mind. That's interesting. I wonder if you need some rest. You might, because we do have the word lethargic here on this card. I do get a sense that there's, yeah, there's some strong doing energies. Maybe you've been very busy lately, you've been doing a lot. I think there is a bit of a message that slow down, get some rest, maybe spend a bit of time, a bit more time at home. Let's have a look, this one's quite, quite giant. Ah, yes, I know this. We hang on to pain. Yeah, it's certainly, I know, this, this comment is interesting because this got me thinking about things while I was writing it down. It says here, we hang on to pain. It certainly satisfies our unconscious need for the alleviation of guilt through punishment. We get to feel miserable and rotten. The question then arises, but for how long? Yeah, and this might be, this is interesting. This might be what she's holding on to. By the way, the, the camera's just about to cut out, but we shall keep going because this quote is so important. And I think it, it's so interesting that she's, yes, she's successful, she's victorious. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there, and then my voice is starting to go. Interesting. But she's holding on to something and she's, hold, she's protecting something. She's keeping it close to her chest. And what is that thing? It might be pain. And I made an important discovery about pain recently. And that was, and I saw this within myself anyway, it was, because I'm trying to rid the pattern of headaches in my life. And it's, it's going quite well. I didn't have a headache last month. And that was pretty amazing for me. Oh, the camera's just gone red. I'll, I think I'll just start another thingy. It'll cut out. So what was I saying? I think I was saying something about I'm getting rid of my headaches and I'm, I'm really, yeah, trying to rid my body of the whole headache pattern. And it's going good. Like, so as I say, I didn't have a headache last month and I haven't taken paracetamol since like last April. So I'm doing well on this health journey, the things I'm trying to do. And Louise, hey, I'm working with her book, You Can Heal Your Life. And one of the things she says in the book, she, she talks a lot about pain and affirmations. And so through contemplation of all these things, and she gets you to contemplate your health challenges and your, you know, and your mind and all this stuff. I made a discovery through all this work that why, why do we hang on to pain? And one of the things I realized in myself is that one of the reasons I hold on to pain, it's a childlike mechanism. One of the reasons I do it is because I think, well, if I'm full up, then nobody can give me any more, right? How, like, how crazy is that? But it's true. I, I've been doing it. I've been doing it my whole life, thinking subconsciously thinking, and it's an inner child part of me. This is inner child type logic where I think to myself, well, yeah, if I hold on to pain, no one can give me any more because I'm all full up here. Isn't that wild? And when I have made that discovery, oh, now the camera battery's flashing. How annoying. Well, anyway, we'll just talk until it cuts out. But yeah, I made this discovery and it's been a massive aha moment for me. And I have noticed that, you know, pains I might get in my shoulder and my neck and things, and I'm not really getting those anymore. You know, because a lot of things are becoming conscious to me about how I've been doing things 
in my life. And I mean, I really think that's what David Hawkins is trying to say here. You know, the question then arises, but for how long? How long are we going to keep holding on to pain? How long are we going to keep doing that for? We don't have to. We can let it go now. And through determination, you've got this beautiful determination card here. Honestly, you can heal any pattern, any dynamic in your life. It's just about being determined. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be able to figure out whatever pattern it is that you're going through. It's just about, you know, doing what you have to, what you have to do. Let's take a look. We've got one more and the camera battery really is flashing. I think I need to get another battery. Oh, we'll let it, we'll let it cut out. I'll just open this. You're getting a long reading here today, group two. This is very cool. All right, it says here, the person who suffers from inner poverty is relentlessly driven to accumulate on the material level. Yes, that's so true. And I think perhaps at times you have encountered uh, this, this page of pentacles. You're not this type of person. You're rich on the inside. We've already determined that. But I do think that there have been Sorry about that group too. I think I was saying, I do think that you have been around people who have, who are, yes, relentlessly driven to accumulate on the material level. And perhaps some of them, yeah, I know what this is. I think some people maybe judge you for the way that you are because they're like, well, why don't you want to just make heaps and heaps of money? You know, what, why? Yeah, so much of this is making sense here. Because perhaps you've been perhaps you've been slow to excel financially and accumulate assets. Uh, and you might have some peers around you who are like, Well, you know, why? Why why don't you do what we do? Why don't you want to create lots of houses and buy fancy cars like us? Why are you so different? you know, uh, but my goodness, it's far better to be you, <laughs> you know, it's far better to have the inner riches, which is what you have, okay, group number two, this has been an amazing reading, it's had like, we've had a memory card, <laughs> I had to, you know, sort the memory card, I had to change the battery, so a lot of change, look at that, a lot of change has happened in the space of this reading as well like you've yeah you've cut there's there's been growth um wow what a reading group two i'm gonna have to leave it there but oh and the microphone i hope the mic picked up all of that if it didn't i'll just edit it with the camera audio it's okay what a reading group two well i'm gonna leave it there let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three you are in the right place. Let's take a look and see what is your knee-jerk response. So if you're in some kind of, I'm just going to make sure, yep my microphone is on. Apologies I just had to go and get a battery. Group number two, that was some big energy there. Wow. So let's see what we've got going on here. So far the readings have been so interesting and amazing and not what I was expecting either. Because when I came up with the topic and I kind of thought about the different suits and the different, oh, okay, we'll take this. Co-create, that's excellent. It's amazing like, yeah, I had all these ideas as to what kind of cards could come and what kind of things I'd be saying. Everything has been totally different, <laughs> like to what I had expected that this topic could yield. So isn't that amazing? I guess it just goes to show, this really does go to show that doing, the, like your energy really is, you know, guiding this work. Like, yeah, the people who... I've already watched this in the future. You know, isn't that trippy, right? I love all this stuff. Uh, what do we have next? This. But yeah, it's like it's already been watched. 
And I'm just kind of walking into a future that's already been co-created by you. Like, that is how this works. Because I just record these once. <laughs> you know, they, they never, this is always... <coughs> This is always totally fresh. And it has to be that way. Okay, I've got everything. Hold on. I will just take a moment to cough. I think I'll edit that one out. <laughs> right, I think my voice should be okay. So we've got the co-create picture here. In the context of what's your knee-jerk response, this group, just like the others, has been really amazing. I get the sense that everybody is turning up to these. You, everyone's very present. Everyone's very grounded. Everyone is very willing to, to be present, even in the face of something really challenging or traumatic or difficult. Or you're, Nobody here is doing any form of flight. That's what I'm seeing. Everyone here who's doing this reading and this community we do have a lot of light workers we do have a lot of counselors coaches <coughs> people into astrology Maya Briggs you know psychological tools all these kind of things everyone's very present very grounded very much here very much I'm not going anywhere I'm part of this which is great that's exactly how to be Oh, wow. Seeing God. That's beautiful. Wow. It says here, Those who see me in all things, and all things in me, are never lost to me, nor am I ever lost to them. Yeah. Amazing. We are, well, yeah, we, we're it. <laughs> you know, we're everything. We are the world. Right? I've got that in my head now. Okay. The wheel. Wheel of fortune. Okay. In a crisis, I think you also, so you're quite incredible. You, you're not doing the flight thing. You're prepared to see everything as part of you and that you are part of everything. There's a connection with the time element. So you're very aware that that the time will change, that, that things will move, that it won't be like this forever. All three groups, everybody here, is the exact kind of person you'd want to have in a crisis or in a difficulty or in a traumatic situation. I'm so impressed. This is an amazingly high quality audience. Everybody is amazing. This is so amazing. Great three groups we've had. Wow. Mercury in the 11th house, amazing. We've got here brilliant, what does it say, brilliant financier, highly intelligent, has a wide network circle, conquers enemies and profits from them, okay. He's very popular, social butterfly. Yeah. Yes. Apologies, group three. I just had to stop the camera and, yeah, kind of, um, my throat has gone a little bit everywhere, so I've just kind of been clearing my throat chakra. Some people present on this group, maybe, uh, yeah, there might be some, some throat chakra clearing needed. I'm not sure if that's you, claim it. If not, and the other thing is, when that happens, know that this is a good thing because I get a clearing and a healing and so do you. It's not a bad thing. So we've got this Mercury here in the 11th house and I was just thinking about this that I also think that you're a great person to have in a crisis type situation or in a difficulty, your, your knee-jerk response. 
is to acknowledge I do see that you're very much on the spiritual path you very much acknowledge your part in it you take responsibility you you're not afraid you're not doing the flight thing you're not disappearing anywhere I would imagine you also have a very good network you'd also know who to turn to for help or assistance if you needed it you'd be a good person yeah someone can turn to you but equally you have a lot of people that you can turn to there's something about your network being really important here oh, I just had an idea and it's just gone straight out of my mind it might come back let's get going <clears throat> isn't that interesting I was just saying that your network is really important or there's something about you turning to people but then we've got the hermit right here wow that's an interesting depiction too because she's closing her laptop isn't that interesting and the colors really match too that is so interesting everything is fine okay <laughs> we've got this and the reason I'm kind of having a little bit of a moment here where I'm sort of amused by this line is because this is actually that there is a ten of swords card in this deck as well in fact let me just quickly see if I can find it here it is yes that's the ten of swords and then they've put this one in there as a bit of a you know I guess they're trying to be a bit humorous but like the thing is this card is just fine even if you draw this right even if we just drew only this one <coughs> gosh my throat is really packing up I'll be stop starting this one quite a bit guys so apologies if there's a lot of cutting in here because I'm just clearing my throat when even if you just draw this it's always a good thing because it means it's done okay so I am kind of getting I think there's something I think a lot of this is confirming to me that you are you're great in a crisis your knee-jerk response is very good you're always the one who's willing to take responsibility for your part you are <coughs> oh gosh you're always willing to take responsibility for your part uh, you're doing the spiritual path you're doing you, you, you you're fantastic but I, I'm actually beginning to think that I think you are going through something here. Let's take a look at this card. I'll take this one out so we don't draw it again. So I'm going to get another, okay, four of wands. This is good. I want a clarifier. I might even want a couple of clarifiers here because this reading is more than the topic. <coughs> and we're going to see what is... Uh, left in the jar as well what's going on what's what's the why is the why am why am I not able to speak ah uh, we'll take this I keep knocking the camera as well all right so there's something very lovely here for you okay you are heading towards something very very good in life You're making your way but I've got some things I'm I'm feeling like I want to take two Okay. What is going on? There I go, clearing my throat again. Hopefully this gives us some answers. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, good. Five of Swords. Yeah, there's something going on here, guys. There's there's been some conflict. Uh, and I think you felt like you haven't been able to speak up. There's some conflict here. And I want to reassure you that you, as an independent being, are very much on your track, on your path to creating, co-creating with the universe, 
creating the goodness you're doing beautifully you're doing so well on your path and on your journey you are not afraid you're courageous you're willing to take responsibility you're doing great but I think you've gone through some form of conflict recently and perhaps you haven't been able to speak up there's something there's some energy here that's not but it, I can also my throat is getting better right now so it's passing it's clearing so you've had to take a bit of time out you've had to have a bit of hermit time this to me is this is very good okay yeah good uh, so this is like answering the question that you're definitely a great person to have in a crisis or your knee-jerk response is always very good you know you're not going to do the Will Smith thing right you're not going to be <laughs> doing that your your response is always going to be very good and yet I feel like though you have been going through something I think you have been perhaps you've gone through a conflict perhaps you felt knocked out by this conflict or by something that's going on <coughs> this could also be like something to do with this could also be something to do with a relationship that isn't uh, this could be a virtual relationship as well this might not even be something that because we've got these she's on her phone here she's having to like close the laptop and here she's checking something on her phone so it's something some big conflict might have actually happened with someone virtually they're, they're not even in your physical space something that's gone on recently this is very much answering the question your knee-jerk response you're always good you're always seeing the god in everyone and you're doing great on your spiritual path but i think you've been interacting with someone having a conflict with someone who is not on a spiritual path and i think it's been hard and what I can very confidently tell you is that the wheel is turning. I can feel it in my voice right now. Okay, I'm able to speak and it's, it's clear and my voice is feeling good now. I was not, I, you will see, I will be editing this reading. There'll be lots of little choppy little cuts here and there because I've been having to just stop the video and cough a lot. So <laughs> I'm good now. Um, and I think the, that's indicative of the wheel is going to turn. You're going to be growing your network your online business what it is that you're doing your creativity there's money here there's definitely money for you to create your independent wealth and eventually this incredible life where you've got friends coming around you're having a good time you know the new earth the new earth is supposed to be very much underway 2032 onwards you know so there's time uh, this is pentacles this is slow growth here you're on the path you're building it you're doing great okay and mercury here in this place this is good because you will meet the right people you're going to network with the right people these will will you know yeah you, you're gonna you gotta you gotta put the close the lid on something here or you've got to uh you know this, this is a bit of a walking away thing here it would be good for you to to walk away i am getting that let's take one more from i am just feeling drawn to have a look at one of these and then we'll get into the quotes just want to see what this what comes from here and i'm going to ask i'm just going to ask for one more in relation to this yeah we'll take that <sighs> oh wow king of pentacles mm -hmm. yes yeah, could be a situation where you're dealing with a king of pentacles i'm getting the sense that maybe there's been conflict with some king of pentacles type character so this could be someone you know could be a man or if it's a lady something established about this person who and they, they take their time they're a bit of a slow mover something like this 
Mm, very interesting. Group number three. But everything's fine, okay? And I think you know that. That does make me smile. I don't know why, but it's like, <laughs> that is a heck of a situation she's in. And she's looking at her phone. It's just like... That reminds me of the lady who wrote Eat, Pray, Love. Um, she worked with the people, so some of the people who were caught in the, the big tidal wave thing. I think I've brought this up on a pick a card before. She was working with some people who were caught up in that tidal wave in, I don't even know, was it Indonesia? Somewhere like that. Anyway, she said that what, you know, some of these people, they just lost all their family members and yet they were coming to her asking for coaching and counseling about, oh, you know, this, this boy texted me, but then I didn't hear back from him. Like the most concerning thing they had in their life was not like that their whole life had been wiped out, but they didn't get the text back from the boyfriend kind of thing. And isn't that true? Like our hearts are like that, you know, sometimes that, that thing can mean the world to us, that relationship or, you know, yeah. Oh, wow, this is a great quote. Yeah, this is a good one for you because you are this loving person. The more we give love, the greater our capacity to do so. Yeah, and I think you know this inside out. And I think that's what you're always striving for. I think you're always striving to give love. You're always seeking, seeing the good, seeking good, seeing God. You know, you're always doing that. You're always looking to expand your heart. And that's incredible. And, and that is really the work of this world. That If we can successfully do that on this planet, that's amazing. We're always being given opportunities to, to be more loving, to give love. And to give love to ourselves. And sometimes that means... Sometimes that means doing this. It means closing that laptop and you walking away. You know, sometimes you have to love yourself. Sometimes we can be so focused on loving the whole world. Meanwhile, you know, we are ourselves not, not doing so great. And we have to love ourselves, very important. Very, very important. Oh, I love this. The world can only see us as we see ourselves. Yes. There's a big message of self-love here. You need to love yourself. Uh, that will be the most productive way forward, it seems. For now, I just got that there was a honk. I don't know if you heard that. I hope it comes on the, on the recording. Yep, okay. <laughs> Got a couple of bits of confirmation there. That's good. I hope it, I really hope that comes up in the recording, otherwise you'll be like, what honk? What's she talking about? She's hearing things again. It might be. No, I'm not. Okay. The other person merely mirrors back what we are projecting onto them. Yes, again, I, I see you as this person who, who does this work. You're doing this work. You're doing this. You absolutely are doing this. And you know... Sometimes, I learnt this from uh, Greg Braden. Oh gosh, it's about to cut out. This, this is going to be a long one. Well, group three, everyone's had a long one today. Um, Greg Braden taught about the Essene mirrors and he said that if it's not, it, so you've just gone through this situation where you've been in conflict or, you know, and you've been knocked out or something, you know, something hasn't gone right. And you're kind of going, well, how are they mirroring back me because I've done nothing but be good to them. Now when it's like that, Greg Braden has explained that what's happening in that situation where you've been good to them, the mirror is reflecting back what you judge. Okay? So that is your homework, right? Look at your judgment of who the person is. That's that's going to be the source of the, the pain or the difficulty or it's because you're judging the way that they are. You are not like that, okay? So don't worry. You're not like that other person. 
in this situation that you've just gone through with the throat chakra and all this, I know it, it hasn't been good. But so you're not like that. You don't have that within you. But the mirror is bouncing back what you judge. Okay, so see if you can work with that concept and see uh, what ahas you come to there. I was just <laughs> going to cl clap my hands together to say that is we're going to close out the reading there. Group number three, thank you so much for tuning in. Wow, this has been a heck of a pick a card this week. It's been a really long one. I think everyone needs quite a little bit of, um, you know, some good time out. You need a good long cup of tea and slice of cake maybe and hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, slightly long reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time.